So I'm chatting to Kamal from Landex. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine. How are you doing? Thanks Good. for asking. Uh, so you're part of the pitch competition. Yes. I assume you've pitched and now are waiting on the results. Yes. <laughs> Let's talk about your business. What What is the business that you have pitched as part of that competition? So I was pitching about Landex. So it's it's farmland investment platform yep. where anyone from Europe including UK and Switzerland can invest in farmland by click of a button. It's a unique product. There is no such product in Europe. There are comparables in the US, like they're very big and we are the first movers in Europe. So when you say invest in farmland? Yes. A farmer, say, say, say you own a farm and you've got, I don't know, so many hectares of land, but they put a portion of it up that you can invest in, that you can... And then so you, you get a cut of the profits from that land? Or yeah, so you as an investor, you, you give us, it's, it's crowdfunding business model. Right. So we get the money from investors, we collect the money, we, we acquire that farmland. And then you as an investor, you get like this farmland returns. So we are renting this farm to, to farmers uh, and you get the land price appreciation like benefits. And we have secondary market where you can sell your farmland to other investors, your, your farmland share to other investors. How did the idea come about? Because I'll, I'll be perfectly honest, I've grown up in the English countryside, surrounded by farms, and the idea to invest in farmland would never have occurred to me. Yeah, so idea, nowadays you can invest in stocks, in crypto from 10 euros, but if you want to invest in farmland, you need a lot of money, and you need like uh, someone to manage for you the land, if you are not farmer, okay? So that idea came from why we don't democratize farmland investment for everyone, like any crypto in stocks. So now with Landex, you can start investing from 10 euros, and we as Landex, we take care of the, of the farm. Where's the, so what's the technology platform? Where's, where's technology best helps kind of drive this solution and deliver it uh, so for consumers? Currently we have mobile application yep. and web application. So you open our website, you can see like the, this is the farm, you see it on the map, how it looks like from satellite view, okay? And then like you see the land details, uh, like how much, how much do we think the land price appreciation will be? Like you, you see our land details, then you start investing by click of a button. Because I can imagine that that's a huge amount of data to try and capture because farms could be very disparate if it's all over Europe. You could be talk talking about multiple different countries. I, I suppose you can't necessarily accurately rely on all farmers to be able to give you a complete picture of what, what land they have available. So currently we have, uh, currently we, are, we have land, Estonian land. And in Estonia, there is a lot of public information about land. And also we are partnering with the biggest land management firm in Estonia. So they're providing us with the best land and they are like very, exper very expert people in land. So they can pick for us the best farmland available. So we don't have to worry about like, about is this good farmland, is this bad farmland, so everything is under control. Investment platforms are quite traditional. So VCs and, and so on, they'll get that. They, they, they will probably invest in those platforms. But as you said, this is quite unique. Yes. For them, is this, is this something quite new? Is this something that they get their heads around as an idea quite easily? Yeah, so for institutional investors, it's not easy for them. So they want to see some track record. And today in Landex, we have over 1,400 retail investors. Mm -hmm. So now we have like enough track record to tell VCs, your money will be safe. We have track record. Uh, it's working. We have product market fit. So VCs will not invest, like will not give their money in an investment platform like when they don't have nothing. So they need to see some track record. And we have this track record now. We didn't try before to contact them because we know without track record, you cannot get VCs or any of this, like to invest in, in our platform. But now we can. And what kind of questions are they asking of you as a founder? Mainly question who owns the land? Yeah. So it's, it's Landex who owns, the la who owns the land. Legally, it's only Landex. And you as an investor, if you are investing in this land, you are just giving us a loan. It's a crowdfunding. We collect money from investors in form of loan, and your loan value is mirroring the value of that farmland. So if this farmland price goes up 10%, your loan value will go up 10%. And in terms of this conference, obviously there are VCs, there, there are investors here. How have those conversations been at this conference? Yeah, the, I got a lot of interested investors, including VCs. They like the product, and like we will have some uh, extra discussion to see if there is potential opportunities to collaborate between each other. Because it's interesting, I go to quite a few technology conferences and, and sometimes people can say that there's a bit of a barrier between investment and, and VCs. But here it seems 
that there aren't so many barriers it's because I suppose it's a slightly smaller conference people seem very open to, to kind of talk and yeah I mean I, I personally um, I see like everyone is humble and nice and they will speak with you I mean probably for because of our business types like fintech company it's unique uh, in Europe and this business model is proven to work in US so that will make VCs are like more comfortable to invest in Landex equity so uh, they invest in the company not in the lands so yeah. there are two approaches you invest in the land or you invest in the company so for investing into the company they seem very comfortable to do that but for investing in the land some of them are pretty conservative so they need more time to see this is like really really working so is this your first startup no third one third one what lessons have you taken from your previous startups into this what matters is the team and you need to be a hustler real hustler yeah, yeah. What, what does hustle culture mean to you then Never give up, work 24-7. Uh, you don't have to get salary from your startup. What, what matters the most is your team and your startup. Obviously, there's, there's a lot of first-time founders at this com- conference. Would, would that be your advice to them? Would you tell them something slightly different? Or? What I would advise them that team is the most important. Yeah. You need to have like really great team and you need to be a hustler and like, you need to sacrifice your time and energy into your startup to get it to work and never give up. So look, if someone's interested in investing, in Landex, how would they find out more? They contact us at info at landex.ai or they visit our website, landex.ai, where they will find how to contact us. Well, look, Kamal, thank you very much for your time. Thanks so much. Good luck in the pitch competition. I know that the results are due soon. By the time this comes out on Tuesday, obviously it will be decided, but good luck nonetheless. Thanks and, so much. Uh, have a safe trip home. Thanks. Thanks for your time. Thanks.